Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, October 5th, and this is Maddie Owens here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The Ford Center isn't just for football, as the inaugural Frisco ISD marching band showcase took the field on Tuesday. WTV's Wade Glover has more. The marching band and color guard performed among the other nine Frisco high schools last night at the Ford Center. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Our performance was great. Our high impact moments were awesome. I'm just really proud of the band. Uh, I think it went well. I really hope they continue doing this. Both district leaders and band students want the marching band showcase to be an annual event. I sure hope so. I think that's the, that's the aim. That's the goal. We'll evaluate it after this one, but there certainly is a commitment to make this an annual event. Um, we have to. We have to. It's just that good. The showcase also provided the band with an excellent practice opportunity. I think it will prepare us because the Ford Center is a dome. And so at some of our competitions, we have walls that bounce the sound back at us. So we have, that really prepares us for the reverb of the sound and it'll help us keep our uh, music in time. The Frisco community was able to see all of the Frisco ISD marching bands in one night. You know, to have the whole community here and every marching band in this amazing place is really pretty exciting. It's great. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Wade Glover. AP Human Geography goes hands-on to wrap up their first six weeks. Wingspan has a story. You know, Star Trek's goal is to go where no one's gone before. Yeah. My goal is to take a class where no class has gone before. On this paper are nine riddles. Okay, these riddles, you have to solve these riddles, and then you have to find the exact location according to your GPS device. It could be as far out as the football field, or the pole vaulter, or the shot put in discus rings. Each group, get one of these out of this bag, please. One of these devices out of the bag. All right, good luck. Now the wind. Um, in geography class, we, we have a saying, part geography and part awesome. And it's okay to come outside and have some fun and uh, really experience what you're doing uh, outside. And you're actually doing geography. Like, this, that's kind of cool. You can't really do history or some other subjects, but you can go out and, and do a lot of things like math or science. Or, and geography really plays well in that as well. Well, they learn how geography applies to every place on the planet. Um, they, they know exact location matters. And when we get the results back, they have to get it to like the fifth decimal point from the line of longitude and latitude. So they have, uh, they see how it applies to geography and stuff like that. If you're looking for more information about a story or a current news event, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. If you have an announcement you would like to share, please forward that information to your club sponsor. That's it for today's daily update. This is Maddie Owens for WTV.